G'day and welcome back for more Escape Unlikely. Oh, I feel Good like morning, Capax. Have uh, you slept well? Um, I don't know. Somebody was piping all the, the chatter from the radio into my cubicle. Do you see something different about me? Um, uh, you're wearing grey this time. No. I'm what? always wearing grey. Um. Uh. I dare you to open your helmet. You've got a new pair of contact lenses. What? Notice how you don't die? Um. Sure. It, there's, this is pressurized. Oh. And warm. Hmm. Oh yeah, it says that it's warm on my HUD. Yeah. Wow. Cool, huh? That's technology for you. Yeah. So... Before you rush and open a door that's going to depressurize all this space, can I just... You mean like this one? Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, actually, looks like you can do it. Yeah. Well, uh, apparently I don't have enough space in uh, any oxygen tanks. Well, this, <laughs> this is a very cramped corridor here. Yeah, I couldn't find another spot for the vent! I mean, there's heaps of space in here. Yeah, but there's no conveyor in here, is there? I don't know, there could be anything under these plates. There could be, but there isn't. Those plates are placed that way because we walk underneath that space. Oh. See, it's- it's- it's the roof there. Yeah, it- this place is cramped. Um, let's... Oh, we're gonna vent some gases. Do you want to hmm. stand in the way of the vented gases? Wait, where are you going? Oh, there's a big uh, space up here. Close your helmet before I kill us both. <laughs> well, I'm fine. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go out to the garage, why not? Uh, we have yep, gunslinger to do stuff with. The who? The gunslinger. What are you talking about? The giant cap- Wait. Why are you all in orange? I'm always all in orange. <laughs> no, you're not. You normally have a rainbow helmet. Don't- I thought- I thought I had my rainbow. I do have my rainbow helmet. I can't see your rainbow helmet. Well, it looks rainbow to me. Oh. Oh. Well, that's not good. Hold on, I'll go change. Didn't you change before? Uh, I'll change again. <laughs> that's as expected. I'm a man of variety. Do you want me to lead you to the med bay? Um, you should put up some signs or something. I don't have room. <laughs> Uh, it's too tightly packed for me to put signs up. Does it change now? Uh, your face plate's changed. Yeah. It's like a big old eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do whatever you want. Uh, so I can see better. I feel like you can see less through that. My whole head's an eye. How could it be harder to see? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, how do I get out of here? Hang on, hang on, come back, come back, come back. I got something I want to do first. What? I got something I want to do. Mm. Sounds suspicious. Don't Man. poke me in the eye! I want to poke Ow. you in the eyeball! Stop it! <laughs> That's rude. Let me poke you in the eyeball! Oh, I'm getting out of here. No! Oh. I don't want my corneas getting <laughs> scratched. Alright, so. Gunslinger. Bombs. Missiles. Bases. Destroy. Capture. Oh, that's what we were Ringing any doing. bells. Eyeball. Um, so I gotta make a bomb. Yep. Well, what are you gonna do while I'm making a bomb? I don't know. Probably continue work on this thing. Uh, so, you well, you need two bombs, don't you? Uh, I guess I can make two. I, you got I mean, two I feet. probably make one and then copy it. Well, you, yeah, that seems reasonable. But, what I, I, had, a, I had an idea for you. You mm. can do it if you'd like, or you can ignore it. It's entirely up to you. I You'll choose ignore. ignore it. But, it's an idea you may actually like. Mm, sounds suspicious. So... What you could do is make a baby carrier on the back of Capac or wherever you want to put it so that I can sit. I mean, not for 
capac for, for the gunslinger. So oh, that I can right, an extra seat. Yeah, an extra seat on the gunslinger so that I can join you. That way you could make the bombs at least slightly pilotable. I could get in control of them while you're controlling the gunslinger. That should prevent the problem you had with your previous attempt at a bomb dropping flying thing. Which was that you couldn't actually get in control of the thing you were trying to drop. Yes? Uh, sure. I did not notice that you'd made this thing carbon fiber before. Yeah. I mean, I know it matches the suit, but I just hadn't noticed. Ah, we're gonna die. <laughs> okay. Alright, so what do I need for a bomb? I need warheads. And I need thrusters. And I need a gyroscope. Well, you don't necessarily need to make it with warheads. Yeah. I mean, you can certainly go that route if you'd like, but you could just make a kinetic striking thing. Something heavy that you just hit. But if use it's the too weight. heavy, I won't be able to lift it. Yeah. But it just needs to be heavy enough to take out a turret, doesn't it? Yes, so. Uh, remote control. Did you drop something? I'm making bombs. You gotta expect loud noises. <laughs> in fact, that's the exact scenario where I don't want to. Why are you making the bomb on my vehicle? Because if it explodes, I don't want it to blow up my rover. Sorry, what was that? Oops. <sighs> ah! Stop! Stop knocking my bomb around. I didn't knock your bomb around. You knocked your own bomb around. Uh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is not going to work. It's not going according to plan. <laughs> Can I suggest something? See? Stop pushing it around! It's fun. <laughs> Energy. We want down to be forwards for the remote block. Because that'll make it easier to orient yourself. Yes, as long as there's a camera pointing downward. Uh, hmm. What should I do for power? A reactor? Uh, no. <sighs> no. Battery? Yeah. It's not going to need heaps of power. You could put... I suppose you could... Mm, you could use those tiny little batteries, but they're not going to last long with thrusters. But at least this thing, because we're dropping it as a bomb, doesn't need to keep itself aloft. Yeah. It's, All it has to do is steer. Yeah, pretty much. So, I, as long as I'm efficient with the steering, but you're going to have to check to make sure that there's enough power that it doesn't disconnect me from the camera uh, uh, when the thrusters go. Yeah, I'll just make it and see what happens. Any power cells? Do you need help? Well... Uh, looks like I can fly alright, but carrying it makes me sink. Yes, it will. That's just something you're going to have to cope with. And one of the reasons why I think it'll be beneficial for you to have me control the bomb because that means I can get in control of it while you're trying to cope with the fact that you're going to constantly drift downward. Uh, I was hoping to lift it up so I could work on the nose cone. Uh, Energy. Well, I, I could sort of do something to help you with that. Do you want me to make little legs off the side of it so that it can be up a bit higher? Or like if I do this, sound. There you go, you can land that, stick it where you want. And you're locked. Okay. Uh, is that supposed to be doing that? You mean the sparking where you're breaking through the glass roof of my... Yeah, that. ...bridge? Yeah, no, that's not supposed to be doing that. What the... Why have you tiled it? 
This is the disco ball bomb. It... It doesn't look like... It... Yeah, it's a bit dark. It needs more light. Yeah, it... It looks like it's made of bad 1970s bathroom tile. Uh, sure, that'll do. Because <laughs> all I can see... <laughs> Because of because of it being nighttime and the reflections on it, I thought you'd done it in like a bad green and brown bathroom tile. Wow, that looks all kinds of horrible. All right, I'm gonna <sighs> make another one. This one is ready to go. Do we want to test that one first before you go and make another duplicate? Uh, yeah, maybe, it'll be fine. Maybe blueprint that one, and then we can just project it and build well, a new I one. I guess I could blueprint it. Maybe for the next, maybe we can put a projector on my little thingy here and project your bomb off it so you can weld the next one up quicker. Well, I don't know how to do any of that. That's too complicated. Well, there are, there are ways we can make it less complicated for you. The first one being I can teach you. The second one being I can just do it for you. I'll just make another one. I've already got the scaffolding here. Alright. What if there's something horrifically wrong with this design? It's pretty basic. As in, it runs out of power. Well, it's not actually using the power for anything, except for the maneuvering thrusters. And since it's being dropped... This doesn't have a gyro, does it? Oh yeah, I was going to put the gyro on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm okay with you not having a gyro. It just means that my control will be directional only. I won't, which may not be a bad thing. Seriously, if you don't want to give it a gyro, I'm okay with that. No, we want it to go where we want it to go. There we go. Now it's ready. Uh, just do make sure you blueprint it, because I... Yeah, yeah, I made a blueprint. If these drops are unsuccessful, I may well... Uh, Set up a projector for you so you can make some new ones. If the design is sound, but we just miss. Now who's making noises? That would be me. You really shouldn't be making loud noises when I'm working on bombs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well played. Well played. I hate it when you get a chance to be right. <laughs> uh, okay, so that should be this way. Hmm. Hmm? Well, that's annoying. What's that? What's wrong? Those batteries have run out of power already. So that's what I was afraid would happen. The thrusters aren't even on! The antenna is. Oh, guess I better put a solar panel on it. <laughs> no, just put a small reactor on it, charge the batteries. Because they also start with minimal charge, so if you put a reactor on there... You, or put a reactor on the main stalk. Yeah. Um, you could possibly even put a large small grid reactor on there. There we go. Two bombs ready to launch. Oh, cool. Now we just need to wait for dawn. Because uh, I don't fancy bomb sighting in darkness. Yeah. Hmm. What are you hmming? I'm trying to think of a good name for this design. What's the name of a nasty mushroom in something? I was thinking the Capac Kinetic Kill something. Car? Capac Kinetic Kill. Uh. Cranberry. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with you struggling with that, I'm not going to help you. Capac Kinetic Kill Cruises. Sounds like a cruise where you go and you kill Capax. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. I could get on board with that. Yeah! <laughs> what did you do that for? <laughs> you said this was a Capac Kinetic Kill Cruise. No, I didn't. Where I kill Capax kinetically while I'm on a cruise. Being deliberately obtuse. That's my job. <laughs> I was about to say. What are you up to anyway? I was finishing off the 
roof of the rear of my truck. Ah. What? With big turbines. Yeah. You weren't catching enough air already? Well, I, I got rid of the other two. I've moved them. Yeah. And I put the oxygen farms inside. So they're protected by some bulletproof glass. You also, sh also should get a little bit of light through to the hangar. As you can see the chomper through this. And I doubled the firepower on this thing. Go back. Yeah. Can you come over to my rover for a moment? Maybe. Please? Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, can you head down to the sleeping compartment? Better not be some kind of elaborate practical joke. Uh, it's not really. Okay. You there? Yep. Huh? What the? Why is the c what? Ah! <laughs> I love that you said you hope this not isn't an elaborate practical joke, given what's happening. Why, why are you trying to hypnotize me with <laughs> kaleidoscopic disco lights? Where are you? Oh, there you are. This is, this is, um... Uh, what? so this is Situation Capac. What, what have we done? <laughs> <laughs> so, I got sent a really cool script. Uh, by the... I think it was by the author, actually. Illusory wrote a, uh, light profile script. So I've saved the original profile, and then this is the default Capac profile. <laughs> right. <laughs> so all I have to do is watch. Yeah, are you still on board? Yeah. All right. Watch this. Back to normal. Uh huh. Back to Capac. Well, back to normal. You know what this means. What? You need to set up a control panel that has a capac alert button. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes I do. Construction components. Oh, do you want me to hang on, come back come back here, come back here, come back here. What? Okay. With your welder out, right click on that button panel. Yeah. Right click on it. Just say oh. then go over to the cargo access port and middle mouse. Ow. And you can do that with multiple blocks. There you go. There's a panel so you can set up an alarm. What do you want? You just want to be able to change the lights, don't you? If there's an emergency, you want to hit the CAPAC alert button and have everyone be aware that a CAPAC alert has been initiated. Alright, button one is CAPAC alert. You should even be able to press it. Is button to rescind Capac alert? Yes. Good. Aha! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Works pretty well, huh? And I can add any other profiles to it, so oh. I can have serious warning. Look, the sun's coming up on the mountain. It is. We will soon be able to drive. Alright, I guess... So we're going to drive there first, then we're going to launch. We're going to drive a bit closer. It'd be better if we didn't have to drive nine and a half k's each way. Though I don't know if we're going to be able to. You got closer than... Maybe you should lead, because you managed to get closer than this with your big rover. I don't remember. That was a long time ago. Alright, hold on. I'm going to come have a look at what you've done over here. Got bogged down in a mud puddle or something. Something like that. Wait, this is... this is it? This is virtually flat ground. It certainly doesn't look it. I'm gonna have to add large thrusters. I don't remember you having this much trouble with slight hills last time. I feel like I've... somehow... gotten... heavier? Well, there is a bunch of stuff stuck on the top. I could fly the cat back, back over to my vehicle. Yeah, I, I feel like that's not that significant. Oh, one of my wheels is off the ground when I keep doing this. 
That's not going to be helping. Maybe I should just fly there. Yeah, I'm starting to think that might be the better idea. Alright, so... So you're going to have to control the gunslinger. I will release the bombs once you've connected to them. Picking up the second one is going to be an interesting challenge for you. Yes. Now, I presume you've made these asymmetrical for a reason. Huh? The bombs. They're, they're both oriented the same way in terms of... No, no, turn, of turn, turn to your left. What? Turn left. There, yeah, line up that way. Because I don't think you've got enough leg spread to pick them up any other way. Oh, here's some. Oh, there we go. Okay. You ready? Yep. Please don't blow up my ship while Lagging you're doing this. a bit. <laughs> Should we do? I think we're almost stuck with doing one bomb at a time. That's no fun. I'm not sure how I can help you other than saying go backwards a little bit. Okay, oh, go a little bit right. Yeah, nicely done. Okay, be prepared. Yep. Oh, it's heavy, but I can fly. Okay, can you move yourself away from my rover? A little bit. Like, off to the side, so... I'm trying. If you fall when I jump in, <laughs> you, you don't destroy the thing that holds all of our stuff. Okay, I'm going to hop in the cockpit now. Yeah, still got control. And away we go! Alright, bomb shoe. Okay, we're pretty much directly above the airbase. Okay, I'm controlling bomb shoe one. Okay. Uh, Which is the disco ball. Sure. It's on foot one. Uh... Yes, that's the disco ball. So we're two kilometers above the base. That's probably good because we want to keep a decent amount of height. So that doesn't feel like we're on top, does it? I think the my camera's a little bit skew if because my yeah. thing isn't perfectly vertical. I don't know. It's hard to say. But I think this is about as good as it gets. Yep. All right. We're going to do this thing. All right. So you're ready to launch uh, for yep. one. Yep. Uh, hold on. Which is about three. Okay. Ready? Yep. Detach! I am moving as fast as I can and I don't know if I'm actually moving. Uh, have you got the thrusters turned on? Oh, do you have them off? Yeah, because they were using up the power. <laughs> And it didn't even reach the ground. <laughs> I didn't know they were off. I put the inertial dampeners off. Because I didn't realise. Uh, we need to fix that position though. That wasn't... Um, I was going to have to fly a long way to get that on target. Alright, let's grab the other one. Also, you've not shared control of these things, so I can't change them anyway. Okay, thrusters are on this time. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can survive enough to hit it. Are you ready? Yep. Launch. Uh, oops, I hit the wrong one. Launch. Wait, do I have a gyroscope? Yeah. Why can't I turn? Oh dear. <laughs> I can't turn. That doesn't look good. I can't control anything. Oh well, <laughs> see you later. Uh oh. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, I think it's gone. I think we've got other problems. Oh, the backup call. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Run away! Why couldn't I? Did you actually build a gyroscope on both? <laughs> I'm sure I did. Uh, I'm... I'm doubtful. <laughs> that was a colossal step up. <laughs> it could have gone better, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, we definitely need to get our rovers closer so that we can, uh... 
reload without you having to fly 10Ks? Plus, is that real, the two minutes of power remaining? Yeah, probably. How are you so calm about that? It's heaps of time. Uh, it's really not. 55 seconds. 54 seconds. It's fine. 52, one minute. Quit belly aching. I'd suggest getting closer to the ground. So that if you do look like you're going to run out, you can just gently drop. 46, 45. 43. Quit it. <laughs> it's so much fun to put stress on you like this. Yeah, heaps of time. We, we really don't. It, 38 seconds. 36. 35. 33. Oh, Fanny! Oh, this is so close! 28 seconds! 27! Stop it! <laughs> 24! 22! 20! 18! 17! 16! 14! 12! 11! 10! 9! Eight. Oh, three. I saw a three in there. Oh, <laughs> easy as pie. <laughs> if I hadn't been pressuring you, then you so would have tried for the truck. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and that would have ended horribly. All right, so we need some power for the gunslinger. Yeah, we can just. Whack a reactor on it to recharge it for a bit. Go back, have you got power on the gunslinger yet? Yeah, I'm giving it a bit of a recharge. Hmm. I am going to try something. A little bit daring. Is it a spicy chili pepper? It's more daring than a spicy chili pepper. Motor. Okay, uh, we don't have enough. Are there any motor shipments out there? No. How many do you need? Uh, I need another 4,400 motors. Oh, I have one tenth of that. <laughs> you have 440 motors over there. Yep. Wow. That is unexpected. I was hoping to get this thing to fly. Ah. And we don't have enough. Mm. What about those big hydrogen rockets you were talking about? Well, we can't build hydrogen rockets. Oh. What about missiles? Oh, missiles going to help me fly. Well, if we shoot missiles at it, they'll kind of propel it into the air. No. You're not shooting missiles at my truck. Mm, it makes sense to me. There's a computer shipment and an explosive shipment. Yeah, somehow I don't think we're going to get enough motors for this. But I reckon we need at least four, and we don't even have enough for that. Well, we could go take out the airbase on foot. No, that's boring. We've done that heaps of times. Uh, we could try to make some kind of long-range ballistic missile. I thought you were going to design your missiles better. You don't think you can. They're already perfect. Well, let's at least get ourselves a little bit closer. I don't know if there'll be enough, though. It seemed like there were a lot of guns. Well, okay. Here's another plan for you. Since we know that rovers can get up there, why don't we do another bit of rover design and see if we can get in there and take a few turrets out? So we make some cheap but heavily armoured things see if using turrets on our own rovers and keeping ourselves mobile we can take out some of their turrets mm. I don't know if any of my rover designs can make it up the side of that mountain well if you're designing around that you'll just build more wheels so that you've got enough grip and enough power to actually get up there that would at least be the idea have a think on it because I'm just giving my rover a bit of a power upgrade and then we'll be able to hopefully get a move on and get closer so that we don't have to fly the whole way over there 
There we go. That's not enough power. I don't know what will be. Oh boy. <laughs> have you seen it? What have you done? <laughs> what are those things on the sides? What do you think they are? Uh, yeah, this one looks safe. It's totally safe. So you're just going to drive straight up the mountain in this thing then? No, that's not going to happen. I mean, this thing moves now. Like, it probably motors, but uh, it's not going to do that. Uh, can you lead me where we're needing to go? Um, not without you. Well, you're going away from where we went. Didn't you go? I thought you went round that side, though. Oh, I came around from this side. Did you? All right. I'm turning around. I am 4.7 kilometers from the airbase. Hmm. It's pretty much up the side of this cliff here. Maybe I should have kept following it. Yeah, I'm over near that garage now. Should we make that our base? Uh, I might be able to get to the cliff at directly beneath the thing. Well, the thing is, if we stop there, then any like convoys that come from the airbase are gonna like land right on top of us. True, but this thing does have turrets. Oh, we could dig out, like, a cave in the cliff. We could. That sounds like a lot of work, but we could do that. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm in the flat area at the bottom of the cliff. Uh, you are? Yeah. So we're just going to park up here? Sure. Alright. Alright, All right, I'm going to design a bomb. So, Holy moly, this is control. ridiculously steep. Yeah. Uh, so you're saying I should make a rocket buggy? Yeah. Small grid rocket buggy. Sure. Right, so I'm going to design this roughly off the way you th did things so that it still is a bomb. And that I'm not just building a self propelling missile. Okay. That should do it. Right, you're done already. Yeah. I made a lot of bombs. <laughs> well, I even started my rover. Yeah, I figured that was going to be the case, but that's, that's fine. I'll be here for weeks. Okay. Fly. I'm on board. Go and collect the bomb. Engines on. Unlocked. Taking off. Got about an hour. Yeah, it's... your power readout's not going to be accurate. Just so you know. Oh, good. That's what I love to hear. Yep. <laughs> Alright, come on. Cupping up the bomb. Oh, well, maybe I should give myself some solar panel wings. Don't give yourself wings. Come and pick up the bomb. I'm trying. Okay. I am locked. Alright. And you are discon... You are disconnected. D dis disconnected? What? Well, oh, get back! What? Pay attention! Like, yeah, I was paying attention to you saying I'm disconnected. I'm like, what? I don't feel disconnected. No, you're disconnected. <laughs> oh, you meant disconnected from the thing. Yeah. I thought you meant disconnected from the game. Okay, line us up above. Nice and high. Whoa, what's that? You got too close! So a missile flying off to the side. Yeah, you got too close. You were within 800 meters. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, can you get some more altitude, please? Especially there's a drone! Drone, 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 drone. What? Where? 500 meters away. It's shooting us. Drop me, drop me, drop me. All right, what? Dropped. Okay. Take it, it did not go well. Well, considering you, you threw me in 
<laughs> completely unprepared. Look, I was panicking because you were yelling at me that there was a drone, but you wouldn't tell me where it was coming from. I couldn't see. I couldn't see either. How am I going to tell you where it's coming from other than I can see a marker on our HUD getting closer and closer and closer? Maybe I should just go for a full frontal assault. Um, do you want me to fly? Oh jeez, are you seriously going to do this? No. Oh. <laughs> I was going to go hide behind this rock. Did you take any damage? Because I was getting shots. Uh, I don't see any damage. Oh, maybe the decoys dragged the fire. Yeah, that would make sense. You know your handguns have greater range than their turrets? They do? Yes. Oh no, you've definitely lost some left hand thrusters. Right. Your oh. left shoulder got shot. Oh no! <laughs> no wonder it's taking so long to slow down. <laughs> I think your connector got shot up a bit too. But yeah, you've definitely taken some, uh... You, you no longer have a left scapula. Uh, are you, are you going in really? Well, you said I could outrange them with my guns. I think you can. Although if a drone appears, we're, we're pretty screwed. Uh, now remember, their range is 800 meters, and that's 800 meters from where the turret is placed. Not where the antenna is reading. Ah At <laughs> <laughs> the very least, this looks cool. Look what I get to see. Take that. I don't know if I'm hitting anything. No, I don't know that if you are either. Do you want me to fly in closer and see? Sure. How far away are we? 950. Oh, I think you need to get closer than this. Go another 100 meters closer. How much ammo have you got left? 500. Okay, that's... Not a lot. I think I can see flashes of hits. Yeah, I think I can too. Oh! Missile! Missile! Missiles! Lots of missiles coming straight at us! Go! 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 Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, I'm out of ammo. Oh, popping out More missiles! More guns! Ah! Easily <laughs> evaded. <laughs> oh, wow. That's kind of fun. Do you know what I really want to do? At some point, we have to try this. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, bad wrong. <laughs> okay. So, do you think after we do this rover thing, you could build me a splitsy tron? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> and do you, do you know what I have as a plan? I I kind of want to attack a base with capac tron and splitsy tron. Oh boy. <laughs> Do you think that'd be cool? Sure. Fun? Rover's first though. Rover's first. Stop getting distracted, Splitsy. There we go. Locked right. on the ground. Will Capac ever build Splitsy a splitsy -tron? Does Splitsy even need a splitsy -tron? Will Capac and Splitsy ever make it up that cliff and deal with that base? There's all that and plenty more to come. We will see you then.